what's up guys, AA12 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.15.0 update video where I'm going to give you guys more news on the upcoming 0.15.0 Minecraft Pocket Edition update. And I know, you know, like, I think last week I already made a video about some of the stuff that's going to, you know, um, be the update, but today we have more news for you guys today, and today we have, like, today was just actually a pretty good um, amount of news that, you know, one of my favorite developers, um, personal opinion by the way, Tommaso Chechi, tweeted this. Apparently it's out now. We're working on commands, resource packs, and plugins for Pocket Edition and Windows 10 Edition. So he links a website to this tweet, which I'm going to link down below, but I'm going to basically highlight some of the main stuff that this website tells us. But before we go straight into that, we do have some more news. So I did um, confirm resource packs in a previous update video, but the plugins and the commands were something that were kind of new to me. So if you go through the website, actually, you know, you can actually see a bunch of stuff that I'm about to highlight to you guys. But um, Tommaso Chechi did tweet this after. Don't expect all of it to be as powerful as PC for a while because we'll start small, but that's the direction. And some guy actually um, replied to Tommaso Chechi's original tweet with the CNET website asking, are the commands going to be like PC? Which, you know, is a pretty general question because if you guys don't know, um, in PC Minecraft, we do, they do have commands that do specific things like you can do like slash time set to a specific time you can go to creative for survival view commands and you know he's just wondering if they're basically gonna have the same exact commands and Tommaso Cheshire replied they're going to be similar but not compatible PC commands are too tied to PC's internals unfortunately so although we are gonna get commands it does look like we're gonna have a different um set of commands to be doing that so anyways, back to the website guys. Again, if you guys want to read all of this for yourself because you know it has a ton of information in it, it will be linked down below. Go check that out, but I will highlight some of the main news for it right now. So something that I noticed, which is basically the header says, Microsoft mega hit Minecraft to get more powerful on mobile. Sad that the mobile version lacks the flexibility of the PC version? Cheer up, Microsoft is bringing power tools, command blocks, and modding to Minecraft for phones and tablets and there's a lot of information in this like website so again I do recommend you guys check this out while you guys are down there why not leave a like because you know it's down there anyway the like button's down there um but let's continue with some stuff that are highlighted so just the first thing that I've noticed that you know I've read people who play Minecraft on PCs get a lot of flexibility compared to those who use Pocket Edition the $7 version for phones and tablets running for Apple iOS or Google Android a new my Minecraft for Windows 10 is more like Pocket Edition than the original Minecraft for PCs Limited 2, and that's basically just stating what Pocket Edition basically is. But they do continue off saying, but the mobile and Windows 10 versions will soon escape their shackles. Microsoft is adding programmable items called command blocks to the mobile and Windows 10 versions. Jo Jens Bergenstein, lead developer on Minecraft, told CNET, the company hopes to enable more extensive um, changes called mods to both these versions and on the one that runs on game consoles too, Microsoft said this month. So in this, um, I guess, paragraph itself, we are now confirmed to know that we are gonna get command blocks pretty soon as well as modding capabilities. So I don't know what they mean exactly by, by, by mods, but uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Anyways, command blocks and mods are core to the uh, remarkable success Minecraft can claim as a tool that educators have embraced to help teach kids about everything from architecture to programming. Using command blocks, you can add new Minecraft rules that do things like teleport players to different parts of the virtual world, reward them with a powerful sword, confine them to a jail, summon a flying pig into existence, and obliterate all dangerous zombies. Mods enable more extensive changes by altering the programming of Minecraft itself for more excitement, fly on Minecraft dragons, boost Minecraft's graphics, and add the risk of toxic gases while you're mining. And okay, so we're just gonna pause right here just so I can come, like explain to you guys who play only Pogish and who don't know anything about command blocks. So command blocks are a blog in Minecraft PC that are used, okay, so I already told you guys how to have commands on, you know, PC, right? If you go to chat, you type some like slash time set or something or slash game mode, there are specific blocks that are created that can also do these commands that can be activated via redstone signal. So that could be some really cool things for maybe upcoming adventure maps or if you guys want to, you know, do some cool things with it and all of that. I don't know, I've seen a lot of cool things done with command blocks. I just can't wait to see what people do with it in Pogshin or how it's going to work. And for mods, you guys should know what mods are. I do a crap ton of mod reviews on my channel, but um, 
for now, but you guys don't know, um, iOS is really um, limited into modding capabilities. Like you can't really get any good mods unless you're jailbroken. Even when you're jailbroken, there isn't really that many um, mods out there. So it looks like, you know, they're gonna find a way to add modding capabilities into Minecraft Pocket Edition itself. So modding is a core element of the Minecraft community, Bergen said said. In order to support mods for other platforms, we need to create a system that allows this without modifying the application itself. We are currently researching our options and hope to solve this soon. So basically, so if you guys don't know, most mods that are created for production right now require like um, a different type of launcher, such as block launcher or um, I think MCPE Master as well, but they usually change like the game or modify the application itself. But it looks like right now they're looking for ways to implement mods. So that's an easy way for everyone to do it throughout the application itself without modifying itself if that makes any sense. I don't know, but we'll see how that plays out into the future and all that. Bringing the mobile versions up to the same level as the PC versions will be tough though. The processing horsepower is catching up, but command blocks, for example, require players to type long, complicated text commands, even hard even with a full-size keyboard. Usually what is the most time consuming is to adapt the user interface for touch and gamepad, especially considering it's a bit more cumbersome to type text, Bernstein said. But Microsoft and Mojang are working on it. Our ambition is to reach um, feature parity as soon as possible, he says, including command blocks. So that's all I have for this. There's a lot more said within the website itself that you guys can go check out. Again, it will be linked down there. And while you guys are down there, why not leave a like or if you're new, subscribe to the channel. That's all the news I have for today. But as you guys can see, we have a ton of new information. So I don't know, like, I don't exactly know. If all of this will be in 0.15, but it does make kind of a bit of sense that 0.15 is going to be obviously the next update because after 14 is the number 15, obviously. But this could also be for, you know, future um, updates. But I, you know, I have a good feeling it might be for 0.15. That's just me speculating there and all that. But anyways, what do you guys think? Why don't you go leave down a comment telling me what you guys think of any of these cool new features. I do read every single comment, guys, and I do want to see what you guys think about this new stuff happening. If these things do come in 0.15, which, you know hopefully do um, become a thing, it, it's going to be pretty cool to be honest. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, drop down a like. Only if you guys did enjoy, again, the website's down there. I cannot emphasize that enough. I do want you guys to read everything so you guys are aware of what's going to be happening with the game so far and all that. Subscribe if you're new. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for the amazing support lately, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys, and goodbye.